So Daisy, we know that here in Canada or even the States or other parts of the world, there's a lot of job fairs happens. We have one coming up here in our university and there's a lot of maybe 100 or 200 employers there. And a lot of times uh, we tell the students, you know, go to their website, see who's attending, check their website. If they're having jobs openings, customize your resume as we spoke previously and go directly to them and have a conversation with them, which, which is the elevator pitch, 30 minutes elevator pitch. Mm -hmm. Do you have any tips on how students or even job seekers, immigrants, because there's a lot of times there's also fairs for immigrants, yes. how they should prepare that 30 minute elevator pitch? The 30 second elevator. 30 second, yeah. Uh, <laughs> second, yeah, not 30 minutes. That will be an yes. interview. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, again, they have to answer the question, who are they? So they'll say, who am I? What value do I bring? And what really makes me stand out? What's the extra? What's my added value? Yeah. So and so who they are would be, and, and I tell people, don't start off by saying, I am Daisy Wright and I have a bachelor's degree in what have you, or a doctor's in this. Mm. Because those are important, but that's not in the conversation. That's not the most important. Mm -hmm. The most important is what are you bringing to that employer? Yeah. So it's it could be, I am John Brown. And I worked with Accenture as the head of product development. And after three years, my three years there, I was I developed a system that saved the company X number of dollars. So always start yeah. with your accomplishments. That's what it good. It is, it yeah. is, because that's what you're selling. When yeah. employers hear that, they start thinking, wow, mm. we want somebody like that here. Yeah. Right. Because then already know that they have a lot of people with their MBAs and their BAs and their PhDs, which is fine. And, and I don't want people to 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 believe to think that their degrees that they have worked so hard for that yeah. I am minimizing that. No. Mm -hmm. But when you have only 30 seconds to have yeah. a conversation with somebody, you want to tell them something that will stick. Yeah. So you tell them about your achievements, then you put your added value. Yeah. And what is the added value? This is something that allows you to stand out. Mm -hmm. So you may be coming from India or Germany, yeah. and you know you can speak three or four different languages. That's your added value. If the company, if you can speak German and the company is a German company, you can say to them, the fact that I can I'm fluent in German will help me to help you penetrate the German market. market. Yeah. So those are the things you have to analyze. It's everything starts from knowing yourself, yeah. knowing your value. And yeah. again, making sure that your values are your your accomplishments or what your potential, mm -hmm. those align with the company's needs. Yeah. Do, and do you think that value alignment, as you uh, spoke, that has to be 100% alignment or 80% or it all depends? I think it all depends. Mm -hmm. Because if, if the organization is looking to develop business in, say, say India, for example, mm -hmm. and you are, and they're looking for somebody that can speak English, say that. And you know you have that, that's what you're going to sell them. Mm -hmm. That's what you're going to sell. If you're going to, if you're moving from France to say Latin America, yeah, French is your language, but you know you can converse a bit in, in a little bit in Spanish, that's what you're going to, that's, that's your added value because not everybody would be able to do that. So it doesn't matter. And I usually use language as, because especially here in the greater Toronto area, there are so many languages spoken here. Yeah. 
that I say to them, capitalize on that. When you go for an interview and because you have researched the company, you know, you know that they're planning to do, you know, do this Expedition or you know, can't go to some other country to do business. If you know the language or the custom, play that up. Yeah. Because Those it are, sets you apart. Yeah. Those are great tips, Stacey. Thank you very much. And again, for the audience, if you have any other tips in terms of how to start the 32nd elevator pitch, leave them below and tune in next time for another great question with Daisy. Thank you.